a good one. Being from the medical profession, I think drug test these people is a great idea. Hello, this is uh, Rob Robinette, uh, K9OJ. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick demo of uh, my new Sun SDR2 software-defined transceiver and the uh, the uh, accompanying software expert uh, Sun SDR2. Uh, I'm sorry, expert SDR2. Uh, real happy with the unit. I've uh, got it actually. The the hardware is actually up in my attic. Uh, it's plugged into an Ethernet router up there in the attic, and I'm able to uh, uh, work uh, DX uh, pretty much anywhere in the house using a laptop or my, right now, like my desktop computer in the office. Um, I just go over some of the basic uh, functions here. Um, we're right. We were listening to um, 40 meters um, down here, but uh, things are. Here we go. Let's see if we can find something. Let me turn the volume up. Okay, so uh, we've got two receivers running, the, the main up here and then a, a little sub-receiver down here on uh, 40 meters. I'm going to mute this one and we'll move up to 80 meters right here and see if I can find something to listen to. Got to turn the mute off. Very easy to move around, just click on what on a conversation. So it's very easy to move around, and of course to transmit, all I have to do is click up here on the uh, MOX button, uh, manual uh, transmit. And uh, I'm using a, just a gaming headset uh, plugged into a USB sound card on my uh, computer. Makes it easy to move the headset around, just plug it into a USB port. Uh, but um, makes it easy to transmit and receive uh, without bothering anybody else in the house. Um, go over some of the, the, the basics. Um, this is the uh, band scope down here at the bottom. Runs the full length of the, of the receiver from uh, 80 megahertz all the way down to somewhere in the kilohertz down here. I'm not sure how low it goes. You can see the, the band markers 20 meters, 17, 15, 10. And of course when somebody transmits you'll see a peak. And if you need to hop over to 10 meters just come up here and click on the, on the band button and you hop right over. Uh, we also have two meters on this radio, and uh, right now it looks like it's uh, dead. And uh, to slide around on the frequency here, I can just right-click and drag, and uh, don't see anything going on on two meters right now. So you can hop back down to 40. And so it's very easy to, to, uh, to move around. Uh, this is the, the primary receiver. You can also change frequencies just by rolling the... Uh, Mouse, uh, a mouse wheel. Um, so you've got uh, this one's muted. We can come up here and mute this one and move down to this one. Turn the volume up. Yeah, real happy with the unit. Works well. Um, uh, getting good signal reports, good audio reports, uh, making a lot of uh, contacts. Uh, international radio works really well. Uh, puts out about 10 watts on two meters and about uh, 20 watts on HF and six meters. But uh, uh, very cool unit, little unit. Um, let me see. So uh, this is the uh, the operating modes: AM, synchronous AM. Double sideband, lower, upper, CW, narrow FM, wide, um, 
the Q channel, uh, IQ channel output, to, you know, direct, digital low and uh, uh, and lower sideband, upper sideband, and digital radio mon dial in case uh, you have access to the digital shortwave. Um, these little blips here, we've got a uh, a database that shows. Um, shortwave radio stations, and that's what these little blips are. If you put your name on there, that's RGV, Russian Navy. Um, so if, you've, if you find an AM station, <coughs> you, can, you can identify what it is. That's a nice little built-in. That's what this is. You can turn it off if you want to and turn it back on. Um, that's like the major, <coughs> the major features. And like I said, very happy with the unit. Um, uh, definitely check into it if you're looking for a, a software-defined trans uh, transceiver. And that's about it. Hope you uh, hope you learned something.